Okay, welcome back. In this video, we want to work with JavaScript a little bit more. Let's get started by placing in our HTML files the place where we want a date to be inserted. For instance, here on the Constitution page, right below the header, we have a date of March the 4th of 1789. And I think what we'll do is put a date right after this that tells us how long it has been since that date. We're going to put two dates in our pages. The first one is going to be that date that calculates the number of years. And then the second one is going to be down in the footer. We'll just put today's date. The first thing we need to do is make these places ready. The footer is the easiest one to do. So we'll just drop down to the bottom of Constitution. And here, right after the period in our footer, we'll just type a BR. And on this next line, we'll put in a span tag. The span is going to have an ID of today's date. And that's all we need. So we can just copy this. We're going to go to the declaration file, go to the bottom, put that in, go to amendments and do the same. Now the way this works is that we create something like this span. It could be any element. It doesn't have to be span. It does need to have an ID rather than a class. And you need to give it some sort of name that is unique to the page. Now we have ID equals today's date on each of the three pages. That's okay. But we can't have more than one that says ID equals today's date on the same page. So what JavaScript is going to do, it's going to locate where it says ID equals today's date. And then right between the opening and closing span tags, in this case, it'll put the date right in there for us. So now let's go back to Constitution and start there. We're going to come down for the calculation at the top. This is all going to happen here in the H1 element. Now first, I want to change this line that has the actual date in it. If you look at the way this is being rendered in the live preview, you can see that the letter M in the word March is getting the same capital M that we put as the first letter of each of the paragraphs. And it doesn't really look that good up here. So let's just change this from a paragraph to a div. You can change out a paragraph with a div. It's not recommended, so it needs to be done infrequently if you have to do this, but you're gonna get the same result, whether it's a div element or a P element. Now inside of our div element, we'll come down after the closing time element and we're going to type for span ID equals calc years. And so the date will come right in here between these two tags. And then after span, we want to put in here the word years. And now you can see in the date on live preview, they have the date followed by a blank four years with a space between it and the date will pop up right in between those two words. Now we want this same result in the Declaration of Independence. So I'm going to copy that line, come into Declaration, find our H1 element, and then right below that we're going to change that P to a div and then right after the closing time tag we'll put in that same code and we get the same thing. Have just a single date for the date of the amendments because they were all passed at different times, except for the first 10, which are called the Bill of Rights. So let's do something special there. I want to come into Bill of Rights. What I want to do is to select all the top 10 amendments because that's the Bill of Rights. So after the opening main tag, I'm going to select beginning with the First Amendment, highlight all the way down through Amendment 10, stop before you get to Amendment 11, 
control shift A. We'll type in a div with a class of bill of rights. Press enter. Come back up to the top. And then here, after our class of bill of rights, press enter. And type in a header. We're going to place here the name bill of rights. And then right after that line, we're going to press enter and put in a div. And this div doesn't have a class or ID. Inside of here, though, we will type our time element because we know the date of the passing of the Bill of Rights. And the date has a attribute of date time. And that date time is the year 1791. And it's December the 15th, 1791. And we'll close our time. In between the opening and closing time tags, we need to type the string of that date, which is December the 15th of 1791. This is the date that the JavaScript code will come and grab in order to do the calculations. So after time, we're going to put in that span section again for the calculation of the number of years, and then Control S to save. And you can see right here that we're getting the result we want, and the number of years will come right in here after four. Now, the first thing we need to do is we've created this div section for the Bill of Rights. We need to go to our style sheet and create some style rules for that Bill of Rights class. So we have a class of Bill of Rights. We're going to have a color for the background called Cornflower Blue. We have a box shadow. And our color value here is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 2. You can see the error message. See the little red lines underneath some of these tells us that there's an error. I didn't catch it at the start. I put in parenthesis rather than the curly brace. That won't work. And then after that color, we have our know, padding will be 1EM. And then after that, we have that header that we created. So we need to have the class Bill of Rights space and then we'll select that descendant selector and our font size for this will be 2EM so we're all set with this so control S and save and now in our amendments you can see the Bill of Rights is standing out as a distinct area of the amendments we'll come down to the 11th amendment and in the 11th amendment we're going to put a line that will separate each of the amendments. So to do that, we'll come into Amendments here and come down to where we find Amendment 11. We're going to add something to the article tags that we have here for each of the amendments. And so rather than do them one at a time, we'll select them all. We'll start with the less than symbol and highlight all the way through the word article and then a blank space that creates something unique that we can select that's common among them all and then control D until we get down to the 27th amendment. We'll just press the right arrow key so that the insertion point is placed right where we want it and we're going to have here a class equals and then quotation mark and this is going to be the class of amend borders and then the space. So that's been placed in all of them. I'll press escape and then save. We'll come back into our style sheet and create the style rule for amend borders. And all we're going to do with this is put a border on the top of two pixels solid black. I'm going to save that. And then we can see that below we have that black line separating 
all of our amendments. That's all we'll do with that page.